Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to set up a Facebook commenting chatbot that you can connect with your Facebook live stream to get more viewers, get more live viewers watching, and overall grow your Facebook live show. Stay tuned. It's Owen Video. Owen Video! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video. And hey, if it's your first time here, I want to invite you to subscribe on this channel. You will learn all about live video and other video marketing strategies to help you blow past your competition and grow your business. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite tools for growing my Facebook live show, which is a Facebook Messenger bot, but it's a specific type of bot. This is a bot that will subscribe people to your show just by commenting on your Facebook live stream. So we're gonna do a full screen share today. You may wanna bookmark or save this video to come back to it, walk through it a few times. It's gonna get hot and heavy, okay? So let's go to the computer screen. You're gonna start by going to manychat.com and set up a free account. All you have to do is click get started for free. You'll sign in with your Facebook page and then you'll get going on creating your first bot. Okay, so I'm logged in here to one of my side project channels where we have zero active subscribers. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is set up a growth tool, okay? A growth tool are these tools on ManyChat that help you to grow your following, okay? It's, it's a little bit different of a term, but you're gonna go ahead and use a growth tool. And then over here, they give you three growth tools already set up. I think you get a total of four for free. So you could really just come in here and, and de delete all of these because you really don't need them. And you don't want to get like used to them being there and taking up space for you. They, they put these here so that you can just see how they work. But you're going to go to new growth tool. And then you're going to come down here and click on Facebook comments. Now, the first thing we have to do is we're going to select a post. Now, for the time being, I'm going to select any posts that we have, but I'll show you later how to connect this to your Facebook Live. All right, so let's just go to my recent, uh, the recent video on why BitConnect shut down, and we'll go to this post here. You have to confirm that the selected post is explicit. You'll click that. This says track first level comments only. I This means that, that they'll only respond if they, if they type right into like right underneath the video but if they're in a conversation with you three or four levels down it won't activate so i don't do this i i leave it because i want people to activate no matter where they are in the process this gives you a time option when the user leaves as a com leaves a comment when should we send a bot message immediately seconds or minutes we we always go immediately exclude comments with these keywords we rarely do that now only trigger for comments with these words so you want to keep this pretty simple, all right? So let's just, for this purpose, say yes. Okay, we're going to put yes. We're going to put all capitals yes. And then we're going to put like, just in case anybody, you know, messes up here, we'll put all lowercase yes. And then that should cover our bases. It will not matter if they use exclamation marks or periods or, or any of those things. None of the punctuation is going to matter. And then we're going to click next, okay? This is the auto message that the chat bot will give them right away. Okay, so as soon as they type yes, they're gonna get a message in their in their messenger that says, hey, you've just been added to the chat bot. Now, this is very important. Just because they have typed yes or responded to the Facebook commenting bot, it doesn't mean that they're subscribed. They still have to confirm their subscription and they confirm their subscription by responding to anything else that you send them, okay? So so they type yes and they get a message back. That message should get them to respond, to press a button as soon as possible, and then they're confirmed and they're on your list, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you're gonna wanna write something cool. I rarely use people's full names. We usually go with the first name. We're gonna say, hey, first name, uh, you're so awesome. Remind them why they subscribed. So here's what I've written here. Hey, first name, you're so awesome. Thanks for subscribing to the show. Before we can send you more amazing content on Bitcoin, we have to confirm that you're real. Would you mind typing yes one more time? And actually, I'm going to separate this on a separate line. And then we wait for them to type yes. Okay? 
and now we can go to next. Now, this next part can get a little confusing, so I want to keep it super simple for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send this to everyone who replies. Now, you've got three different sending options here. You cannot send the opt-in message, all right? And that, that works a certain way if you wanna do some more advanced stuff with ManyChat. To keep it really simple, we're gonna send to everyone who replies. So no matter if they type yes, no matter if they type uh, no, no matter if they type uh, Boolia Bay, they'll still get this message, okay? And we can edit that. So we're gonna come over here, see it's already called Gro growth tool number four, opt-in message. We're gonna click edit this. All right, so it says any unsaved changes, changes will be lost, are you sure? We're gonna click cancel, and I'm just gonna click save right here. So it saves everything we did in the first place. And now I'll click edit, and I'm in the editing tool. Uh, the first thing, remember, they just replied to the yes question. So maybe they put no, maybe they put Boolia Bay. I'm gonna put that'll do it. Okay, so here's the text that we're going with. That'll do it. Welcome to My Crypto Currently. On this page, we'll send you updates from time to time that keep you up to date on cryptocurrency news and tutorials. Sound good? And then we're gonna get them some buttons and that's gonna increase our engagement. So this one's gonna say sure does and we're gonna add a, a happy smiley face and then we're gonna add another one that says show me more. And then we're gonna add another emoji smiley face here. And we're just doing this again, guys, just to make this fun, okay? Now, when this button is pressed, this is all just to kind of get them moving and into your process. So when, when they hit sure does, we're gonna click send message. We're gonna click on this message here and we're gonna send them what will happen when they click on that button. We can keep this very, it might seem a little confusing, but let's just kind of keep it simple. We're gonna put awesome. In the meantime, uh, please check out our videos on YouTube. Or actually we'll put take me to YouTube, done. Okay, and then, oh, you know, we need to, we need to add, it says, uh, when this button is pressed, take me to YouTube, we need to open a website. All right, I'm gonna take them to my YouTube channel over here. I'm gonna give them my subscribe link and enter the URL here. And I might even tag them with the word podcast. Right, so that, that I know that these people are subscribing to my weekly podcast or to my live Facebook show, and I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna click back on the opt-in message now. And we've gotta set the alert for show me more. Now, you can see this here, it's got the red button here. It says that you, you can't move forward without, you can't mess this up. But I'm just walking you through, through the, the steps. So we're gonna go show me more, and guess what we're gonna type here? Yeah. We're gonna type in the same dang thing, okay? So we're just gonna come in here and put thanks, or we're gonna put awesome. You know, uh, check out our YouTube channel. We have amazing training videos. And I know it's not the exact same thing, but that's not the, it doesn't have to be, okay? So I'm gonna put take, take me to YouTube. And when this message is pressed, we're gonna open up a website, okay? Put in the website there, add the action, add tag. We're gonna put in podcast. And so now, again, anybody who's pressing on these things, these are people that we're gonna send our podcast message to every time we, we broadcast. See so how this says send message and send message one? We wanna change those. So this is gonna be uh, yes, answer. And this one's gonna be show me more answer, okay? So we know what those things are and we're gonna click publish, okay? So the content is published. All of this is ready to go, but we have to still make it active. Before I make it active, I'm gonna change the growth tool name to, let's just call it a podcast subscribe. So they're subscribing to, or maybe like live podcast subscribe. So we know that they're subscribing to the podcast. We're gonna click save. We're gonna click active, and now the podcast widget is active on our Facebook page. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go test it. Let's take a look. Now, because most of what happens on Facebook and chatbots is mobile, we're actually gonna pull in the mobile device now 
to show you how this works. So I'm on the My Crypto Currently page, and I'm going to start scrolling, and I'm going to find the post that we connected this to, and it was the most recent post, remember? So here it is right now. I'm going to click Comment, and I'm going to type Yes, and we're going to wait and see what happens. Boom. We just got our Facebook Messenger alert. So I'm going to click on that. And here's what the message looks like. It's the message that I wrote. And then down here, I can click send a message and type yes one more time. Boom. The automations pop up. Okay. That'll do it. Welcome to my crypto currently on this page. We'll send you updates. Da -da 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 -da. I can click sure does. It responds to me. I can go to YouTube and boom. The next thing you know, I'm over here watching my crypto currently on the YouTube channel. It's important that your chatbot has some personality to it, right? The idea is not to get too wordy, to be short, choppy, social with it, and fun, okay? So keep that in mind as you type. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So guys, I know this was a big video today. Let me know any questions or problems you're having in the comment area below. I really wanna help you get this up and get this going. Everything you need is in the description box to get started. So watch this video a few times if you need to. And then check out some of these additional videos on how to get chatbots moving and also how to really dial in and grow your Facebook live show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Owen Video. We'll see you in the next training.